Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, uh, let's talk about actress Park Seo Yoon passing away. Giardo Shuhua, bullying scandal. Blackpink's journey help concerning fans after she left the show and as Pasnini facing racism after her penny Weibo account. Without wasting more of your time, let's get into the video now. Today, news outlet Olsen revealed actress Park Seo Yoon have fell down a flight of stairs in her home. Doctors have tried to resuscitate her, but the actress was declared brain dead and passed. Her family have decided to honor Park Seo Yoon's kind nature and decided to donate her organs to the people in need. You might know Park Seo Yoon from musicals such as The Days We Loved, Fighting Mr. Destiny, or Siddhartha. She have also appeared in Snowdrop alongside with Blackpink's Jisoo and Jung Hae In. She was also scheduled to perform in Jeju Island just a day after the accident. Park Seo Yoon was 29 years old. May she rest in peace. Recently, I'm sure you guys have seen many TikTok videos talking about Shuhua's so-called bullying scandal. In those videos, many fans claim she's in a bullying scandal and my face being kicked out of the group just like Sujin did. However, there is no articles talking about this, Shuhua's bullying scandal. It is indeed true that there is many articles being written about Shuhua, but that's not because of some bullying case, but because of her alleged rude behavior. Now, majority of these videos claim that the same person who accused Sujin is now accusing Shuhua without any proof. Besides having no proofs, the whole situation doesn't make any sense as the person who accused Sujin is Korean and Shuhua is Taiwanese and there is no way she have teleported all the way from Taiwanese to Korean school. Spreading and making these type of videos without any knowledge or proofs is really dumb. I get that these people might have gotten some misinformation and they were just worried, but it's not that hard to take the video down after so many people informing these creators that it's fake. Unless they only did it for views and likes, then I wouldn't be surprised. Making these type of videos can create huge misinformation as many people who have seen those viral videos talking about Shuhua make literally the same videos just because they saw it on their For You page. Not because they got some information, but just because they saw it on TikTok. If you gotta trust some random videos on TikTok and share them without checking the facts first, then I honestly have no words. So in the end, Shuhua being in a bull scandal is a huge misinformation. She's getting hate from netizens for being allegedly rude towards JJ during interview we talked about a few days ago. Moving on, let's talk about Nini facing racism from netizens after opening her first Weibo account. If you don't know what Weibo is, it's a Chinese social media used by Chinese netizens since Facebook, Twitter and many other Western social media are simply banned in China. Chinese netizens are very happy to see Nini on Weibo as she was trending at 8 on Weibo hot search list. The trending topic associated with her has gained over 14 million views. However, Korean netizens aren't too happy with the fact she decided to open her Weibo account and are heavily criticizing for her decision commenting. Is she ready to leave? I hope that Chinese kids don't debut in Korea anymore. This is why I hate Chinese idols. This is why I can't support the Chinese members. Sooner or later, she will express her political thoughts on Weibo. However, many Nini fans have defended her from those attacks commenting. Koreans already met Nini open a Weibo account. Chinese person having her account on a Chinese platform apparently is a cause for public outrage. I can name at least 10 Korean idols in SM alone who have their own personal Weibo account. Why is it an issue when Nini does it? Literally every single Chinese K-pop idol God Weibo. Why they act like she's breaking rules? But let me guys know what do you think. During the latest Born Pink show, Jenny have left the stage in the middle of the performance due to health concerns and have a return to the show. After Jenny left the stage, Rosé addressed the situation saying that they have to continue at the show without Jenny. The specific health issue was not disclosed 
and Jenny's sudden exit led many fans to voice their concerns on social media and began to trend the hashtag Jenny you are love. A few days ago, fans were calling to cancel the tour due to poor health of the Blackpink members. YG Entertainment released a statement saying that Jenny was determined to carry on the show until the end. However, following the medical advice, they had to make sure Jenny gets enough of rest and stability. Many fans are hoping for Jenny to get better. But let me guys know what do you think about it down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on for more. That is it for today. Bye!